Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner, we have Dulife starting as the green Protoss, three clock location. We have Doodle starting as the yellow Protoss. And this is going to be the other side of the bracket of the BSL Season 15 Hasu League Finals. Yet another three player isometric map in Longinus. And I'm wondering if Dulife. So we've seen Dulife apply early factory pressure multiple times in the matches. And I actually feel like that is where he excels most is when he's doing the quick factory pushes his his rapid troop movement marching across the map is impeccable Nayokin in the pro league of BSL had really strong press on this map and really where usually I say this is like a Protoss favored map because you just have these wide natural expansions where Dragoons can wander in and get a massive amount of harassment I liked that turnaround pressure. The downside of that is if Protoss just sits back and defends, it can be a challenge to make something happen from there, which is what we saw happen to Nyok and I believe against Jonhoon. Trying to remember if that was like a knockout game for him at any point. Anyway, Doodle staging up, gonna go ahead and plop down his gateway. He's already staging the buildings to, and I kind of like the positioning of this. A little bit wider gap here, but this will be a nice defense down the line if vultures take the field and vultures are very strong on this map there's a lot of area to wander first probes got out making its way to the bottom left hand corner barracks alongside that command center refinery and supply depot to the south doodle on the other hand is my current favorite to win bsl because he has looked sharp in these matches unrelenting smothering strong macro and really good positioning with his troops just able to dive right in Probe Wandering making absolutely sure in that bottom left-hand corner. Now migrating to the upper left-hand corner. Three SCV going to gas to get that factory online. And first SCV scout, actually a late SCV scout here from Dulife on 13 supply. As that barracks coming online. Assimilator morphing in. And first zealot is going to be produced by Doodle. Being that this is a rampless map, I like the early zealot pressure. Doodle finding the base. One SCV on gas now that that factory is online. So looking like a factory into expansion build. SCV crossing paths right here. Second Zealot being produced by Doodle. Interesting play. Cybernetic score warping online. Maybe potentially to evict. Was concerned about that SCV's ability to blockade the natural expansion. And was thinking about one gate and expand. We'll have to see. Not sure I like the second Zealot, considering that Factory is going to be out pretty quickly here. But maybe he's saying, okay, I don't see any bunker on the front. So let me just go ahead and move in and apply pressure and get as many SCV kills as I can. Marines staging up around that corner. Defending a lot of territory. Factory is going to come online. Initial Vulture in production. Second Zealot making its way up. That SCV seen what it wants to see, so it's going to go ahead and back out as well. But as soon as that Vulture's out on the field, these two Zealots are going to be very exposed. So they need to get back to home base. Looks like Dragoon being built. We do see range as well for Doodle. Holding on the ramp short just in case they're being chased. And actually, no, they just want to hold on the ramp in general. Four Marines... Machine shop being dropped. A fifth marine in production, which suggests we are going to see a push from Do Life of some form or another. Right now, moving out, perhaps recognizing the Zelt location. I think Doodle has done some scouting information on Do Life because this is a nice little trap of troops to go ahead and engage. As if he's going to see it as it's making its way across. Fifth marine joining the fray. And this is enough of an attack force that, yeah, Dulife's going to have to back up and wait for additional reinforcements. SCV's pulling off the line, trying to get, actually almost able to get on top of that Dragoon. This is going to delay some mining here for Dulife. So it's three SCVs that are off, plus the investment of the early Marines. And this is a lot of Marines now. You got seven Marines pressing into these Zealots. Chewing through them, only one of them falling. That leaves six Marines versus that single Dragoon left. And do life safely going to grab that command center as a follow-up. SCV attacking that nexus behind this just to be annoying. So Doodle 
Investing an additional Zealot didn't get a lot of damage done with it, but he does force Dulife into a more defensive position where he might have wanted to go... I think he was hoping to go for some sort of pressure attack and actually still going to attempt it. He still has a lot of Marines to make this happen with. The Dragoons, unfortunately, going to the low ground, so not going to get the benefit of the Misfire. Trying to do that staggered attack, moving forward with the Siege Tank and the Marine. This is where Dulife, I've seen, just be extremely strong in the past. You can see him just pushing into these Dragoons. There's going to be four Dragoons, however, to engage shortly. And Dulife, wisely and with... Nice game sense timing going ahead and backing out, realizing he was kind of crossing a red line there. So where he could end up losing troops in an unfavorable trade. Observatory coming in line behind this. Only a single gateway, sorry, two gateways online behind that nexus. Sizable probe lead for Doodle at the end. Second factory and mines being upgraded. And the Dragoon starting to stage a little bit forward to maybe go for a quick third command center. For Doodle, also sealing in. Interesting, going for a shield battery on the front. Upon seeing all those Marines, doesn't want to have to deal with any... And that's actually kind of an interesting play. Knowing that Marines shield shred just extremely rapidly. Having that shield battery there to deal with that. And is just going to... And that will allow him to not have to potentially produce Zealots for a follow-up defense. Maybe he's going to wait on the Observer before anything else. The Dragoon's a little out of position to maybe intercept that Vulture if it wants to go for a run by. Currently no blockade. Coming from, yeah, that northern ramp actually might be able to cycle in. It looks like currently, though, Dulife just checking out additional bases, planning mines to try to keep Doodle honest. Bunker up with four of those runes. Two siege tanks on the front, still just sitting at that second, that double factor count, waiting on... Vulture speed. Armory not yet spinning for plus one weapons. And Doodle moving forward. Upon feeling the lack of pressure, though, Siege Tank's not yet sieged. Siege Tech even finished yet? Siege Tech's not yet sieged. And actually, Doodle might have had an opportunity I, to, would have eaten some shield damage to maybe pick off one of those Siege Tanks. Going back on the defense. Starting to hunt around mid-map to go ahead and clear out mines. Interior third base being grabbed from Doodle. Both players playing much more defensively. Vulture looking, kind of wandering around the map. Good mine coverage. We do have that Vulture also sneaking that bottom left-hand corner. It looks like that Vulture is going to get cleared out. But I'm hoping to see, yeah, we are seeing a third factory down. I want to see those Vultures in the mid-game because there's just a lot of room to cover from Longinus. And Doodle knows it. Knows how important this high ground is. You can see him staging up around these ramps already to make sure that Dulife isn't able to capitalize on the mid-map maneuverability. Still holding at the two gateway count. And as I say that, teching on two additional gateways, but playing a little bit gateway light, Vulture's able to dive in, confirm that third base, take out a probe, not able to get a lot else, but still something. Shuttle online. Three factories, two machine shops, plus one weapons, about halfway finished. We finished around, I think that's around the 10.30ish mark. Commentator game sense of when it started and where that bar is. Academy, see how accurate it is. I'll try to make a mental note of that. Academy coming online, which will allow some comp set. So Doodlife can get an idea of what Doodle's up to. It looks like Doodle just wants to play this straight economically. He is getting that Citadel of Adun to get Zealot Leg Speed. Also dropping that Forge to go for upgrades. I think just going to play it straight up standard. And this is looking like a very stereotypical PVT at this stage. And I mean like classic stereotypical. Three base versus two base. Shuttle in the mid game. Movements. Potentially to go for Arbiter. We'll see. I'm wondering if Doodle is... We have seen some players fielding that more modern meta of massive shuttle with speed. Speaking of shuttle, wandering in, going to be able to avoid that southern turret. Get a big drop. Do life not spotting it. SCV's actually attacking the Reaver. Not something you want to see happen. But where's the Reaver attacking? Missing opportunities with that second Scarab. 
Wow, that what was with that reaver? That was I have to assume that was an AI glitch. And I have to assume that Dulife was like, okay, this is gonna get a ton of SCV kills if I just plan it down. Zealot dropping, but a, a lack of fire right there as the Reaver dropped. So Zealot absorbed the Siege Tank shot, wanted to get another shell out, but not quite able to do so. Observer wandering its way in is going to get wiped out. Just wants to see the positioning of the Siege Tanks before unloading. One Siege Tank down, and a lot of economic disruption now from Dew Life, losing a good amount of SEVs here and there, but also currently completely not mining at his main. No Goliaths in production. So defiantly, and ooh, an SCV trap to the north. That's never fun. So defiantly, just wanting to try to play defense, refusing to build, yeah, something to evict it. it looks like the Reaver dropping to the north, getting immediately splorched. Splorched going to be the operator. Ooh, actually double SCV trap. So we got one SCV trap here, one SCV trapped here for do life. So I has to feel a little bit unfortunate, but I don't realize, I don't know if he realizes how fortunate he got earlier with that Reaver shot. Or it could have just done it, could have obliterated the main entirely, to be honest. Shuttle is going to escape, which means it's going to be utilizable here in the mid-game. Do life, feeling the pressure, moving out with those siege tanks, the Dragoons to the north going to see it. Now the question is, is does Doodle have enough to stop this? He, he lost that Reaver in the harassment. The shuttle currently not loaded up. It looks like he's going to go ahead and reload it. But doesn't quite have his troops gathered to deal with Do Life, And this is where I love Do Life's style of play. Is he oftentimes will find Protoss when they're a little bit out of position. A little bit unwary. And his troop movement can be really, really sharp. But we've seen Doodle in previous matches engage against this sort of play. Very precisely. Zealot bombs over the siege tank lines. Doing a lot of damage. And yeah, he's carving this up rapidly. Not rapidly enough, though. Having to back off. Bunch of Siege Shanks still holding, but Dew Life has been thinned enough where he's got to think twice about pressing into this. And it looks like Doodle, with this movement, with nice Observer Discipline as well, going to cycle around and maybe attack that natural expansion. And that should definitely force these Siege Shanks back. And now Dew Life in a situation where he's got to run unseaged, potentially. Reaver taking fire from that bunker into that back position. Doodle needs to be careful. He's leaving himself an exit lane. But with all of this, he's still macroing behind this up to 62 probes and forcing Do Life back to two bases. And this is as a probe transfer is migrating a flock of probes. Do Life not having any of it. He's like, no, I'm not going for a third base. We are going to continue this pressure. He's got five factories up, plus one weapons online. Pressing through Doodle again, trying to shoot that gap to force those troops back. I don't know that Do Life. Is going to draw back at this stage. Maybe he's just going to rely on reinforcement to defend. No, now drawing back. But this is a lot of time wasted as he's kind of debating whether to commit one direction or the other. And that's allowing Doodle's troop count to grow to deal with this threat. Siege tanks remaining unseaged to barrel into this. It looks like mines planted along, along, along that rear flank going to be able to clear out Doodle's Dragoon Force. But he's got a lot of zealots. With Zealot Leg Speed and another attack force grouped, also able to pull that re that shuttle out with that Reaver, has an immense amount of gateways behind this. I'm looking at a gateway count of 10 as far as a follow up. So Doodle with some beautiful troop positioning and is once again going to establish on the high ground. Do Life has still made no motions. Sorry, finally a first motion to grab a command center at the third, but this is going to be a very late third for him. A lot of those attacks were completely stymied. And he invested heavily in factory and troops in the mid-game. But Doodle, nearing 200, looking very, very strong. And I like what he's doing here. Actually, he's going to go for it. I thought he was just going to stage those troops forward, but the Zealot's able to get right on top of that siege tank line at the natural expansion. The Reaver's dropping, dropping huge shell shots. And with that splash, clearing out a lot of units, the Zealot's peeling forward. They have plus one weapons and completely obliterating Do Life's army. Doodle recognizing it, a huge supply lead and could end it here, pulling the trigger, pushing in, and Do Life scattered reinforcements marching their way up to reinforce. And I think that Reaver and that shuttle, I think they're still alive somewhere around here. But natural expansion has zealots all over it. Siege tanks, as they're sieging up, have zealots right on top of them. 
The Dragoons can focus fire that command center down or go ahead and walk right in. This game is over. Doodle controlling it here. Do life desperately trying to survive. It looks like, yeah, now finally this Reaver and Shuttle making their way up. 29 SCVs and dropping remaining for Do life. And Zealots able to mind drag into siege tanks at the gap of the natural expansion. Finally a GG from Do life. And a very convincing game one win game one win from Doodle. Great play, top to bottom. I particularly enjoyed that troop movement. Mwah, beautiful. Doodle looking strong. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna move on to game two. Thanks for listening.